Welcome back to lesson three. In this video, we're gonna talk about left and right distributivity. Let's get started. Hopefully we remember from a previous life that in algebra we have this very special rule called distributivity of multiplication over addition or subtraction. Let's review this rule and take a look at some examples to get our head around what's happening. We begin with the idea of distributivity of multiplication over addition, and in this case we're gonna call this left distributivity because the multiplication is on the left hand side of the addition. Let's take a look at an example. First thing we do is read the problem out loud in full. We're gonna multiply three times x plus five. Notice there is no equal sign. Immediately we, we know we're going to simplify the expression. First thing we do as we're solving this problem, aka simplify, is we write the original expression in our own handwriting. Next, remember that multiplication counts the number of additions. In this situation, we're gonna take x plus five and add that to itself three times because I'm told multiply by three add this expression to itself three times. Here we've associated the groups of two together, but we know that in addition we can associate any way that we'd like. In this case we know that addition is commutative. We can bring all the x's out in front and we get x plus x plus x and five plus five plus five. Because we can associate this, we can group the first three terms together, we can group the second three terms together. Notice the first three terms are three x's added together, in other words, three times x, and the second three terms are three fives added together, in other words, three times five. What this has indicated is that when we multiply outside of addition, we can actually distribute via counting the multiplication that comes in front over the terms in the addition. Here's the x term, there's the five term. I'm gonna pass that multiplication. I'm literally gonna distribute that first to the first term and then to the second term. That's called distributivity of multiplication over addition and that distributivity happens on the left-hand side because the multiplication is on the left. Just like we had left distributivity of multiplication over addition, we also have left distributivity of multiplication over subtraction. Let's take a look at an example. We'll read the entire statement of the problem out loud to ourselves. Multiply two times quantity seven minus y, n quantity. Before we begin our solution, we ask ourselves a simple question as always. Is there an equal sign in this mathematical statement? We see in this case there is no equal sign and thus we call this an expression and we're going to simplify. We begin our simplification by writing down the entire statement of the original expression in our own handwriting. Remember that multiplication counts the number of additions. In this case, I'm gonna add the expression seven minus y to itself two times. Take that expression and I add it to itself twice. Right now we've grouped these subtractions together, but we know that each subtraction can actually be written as an addition of a negative number. Here I've got seven plus negative y. Addition is associative. We can group them any way that we'd like. In other words, we can just drop the parentheses and move our work in this way. Because addition is also commutative, I can swap the order. I know that I can bring the sevens together in the front and I can bring the negative y's together in the back. In this case, I have seven added to itself twice. Another way to say it is two times seven. In this case, I have negative y added to itself twice. In other words, this is negative two times y. And then I also know that the addition of a negative can be written as a subtraction. So this is now two times seven minus two times y. But this implies that two times seven minus y is equal to two times seven minus two times y. Just like we did in addition, we can actually distribute that multiplication through that subtraction. 
we're actually passing out that multiplication through the subtraction. One term shows up on the 7, and another term shows up on the y. That's called distributivity. We've just seen that when we multiply an addition or a subtraction on the left-hand side, we can pass that multiplication through the operation. That's called left distributivity because it shows on the left. The same truth can be found in multiplication on the right-hand side of an addition or a subtraction. In this case, if I have a plus b times c on the right, that will be equal to a times c plus b times c. In other words, I distribute this multiplication over the addition inside. Similarly, if I have a subtraction, a minus b, and I multiply it on the right by c, I can write that as a times c minus b times c. This multiplication gets passed through the subtraction. We'll use this in the next video as we multiply polynomials by each other. See you there.